Thank you, Father, for who you are. And Lord, I pray this morning for every brother and sister that you will bring such a richness, depth, quality in their prayer life, in broadening their vocabulary, even in how they commune and communicate with you. I honor you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. So to this morning we want to bring a declaration of dependency unto you. God, that we choose to be dependent on you and you alone, as John 15 says, that we will do nothing and we can do nothing without you. That's our decision, Lord. Yes, our flesh believes that we can do what we want to. And just when it just happens, Lord, forgive us. But Holy Spirit, show us how to live from a place where we are totally dependent on you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We honor you for that, Father, and that you just come and you do that in our lives. Because we are dependent on your guidance, on your strength, on your wisdom, on who you are. We cannot and we will not do it without you, Lord. And because of that, Lord, we will wait on you. Not just wait for answers, not just wait for things that you must do and for you to let things fall in place. No, we will wait on you, God, because you are our focus, knowing you that is eternal life. And in that place of waiting, we honor you that a stillness can come in our heart, a place of beauty, tranquility, a place of, of being amazed at who you are, a place where we have no words to stand before you and our words, our vocabulary, our language cannot describe who you are. Arrest us into that place with a beauty of stillness before you and before who you are. And from that place, God, yes, with voices made still and thoughts taken captive, we want to seek you. We want to seek you in an active way by focusing, by focusing with our hearts in situations on you, not focusing because of stress, because of fear, because of anxiety, because of crisis. No. We focus from a place of waiting, from a place of stillness, from a place of peace. And from that place, yes, we want to see you in our strategies, in our vision, in our what we're doing. Yes, yes, so that when we move, Lord, when we stay, when we wait, when we choose to be dependent, our life will be a, a place of worship, adoration, of you and you alone that when more people will look at us they will know that man that woman they really adore and worship their God they stand in amazement at who their God is no let it be so in Jesus name my God forgive us for focusing on other things being intimate with things that's not from you because in that context then we worship that thing Lord no, we will not be more intimate with our flesh and our own ideas, our fears and failures and successes, no. We will be intimate with you, for we were created to worship you, Lord. We worship you and we adore you for who you are and what you do. Thank you for that privilege, in Jesus' name. And guide every man and woman through your spirit to understand the quality even of these facets in their lives. In Jesus' name, Amen.